What if I told you that you can boost your Amazon affiliate sales with a plugin for WordPress? Well, it's called Gizmo, and it's going to help you generate content that's going to rank on search engines. Now, you're going to do this alongside with Gizmo, and I'm going to show you how on this video right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and we are going to check out Gizmo. So if you want to check it out for yourself, the link will be provided in the description. There's a free trial that you can go ahead and check it out, test it, and if it's the right fit for you, jump into a plan. Now, as of this video, these are the pricing structures that they have. You have a free trial, and you have your builder with 25 articles per month, the pro with 150, and the unlimited with a 1,000 articles per month, which is a whole lot. So it's going to depend what you need for the plan that you're going to select one for it okay now let me jump into my gizmo panel in your gizmo panel the first thing that you're going to do is obviously add your amazon affiliate program tag which is going to be tied to all the links that gizmo is going to add so you earn that commission now after that jump into plugins and extension and install the wordpress plugin so in my wordpress plugin i already have it installed and that's why i see it right here after that install the gizmo chrome extension the Chrome extension, what it does is that when you are surfing around Amazon for great products that you want to write an article about, you just add it to your WP site with this Chrome extension, which I'll show you in a bit. OK, now let me jump into my WordPress site. And when you install Gizmo and you install your license, you're going to get started here with Get Started. If you want to watch this quick video, you can go ahead and do so. But I'm going to cover this on this video. After that, jump into product review. In the product review, you're not going to view any products here until you add them with the Chrome extension. OK, now these ones that you see right here is are, are products that I've added with the Chrome extension. So I'm going to do that right now with you. OK, so this is my Amazon account and I can search for a particular topic that it, that fits my website or what I want to promote. So in this case, I have a baby and right now everything's about babies. So maybe I want to search for products that have to do with babies. So I'm going to say baby bottles for this one. Okay. So let's search for, search for bottles and maybe our site is about babies and I'll just up, open these on a new tab. Let's grab these five, six. Okay. And once you open this up, you jump into this side and Gizmo is going to pop up right here. And if we want to add this product, I'll just hit the plus button for all of these. So each one of these tabs, I'm going to add it. So it's as easy as this. OK, now what I do recommend is that you find great products. So products that, you know, people are looking for and that will rank when obviously people search for it on search engines. OK, now this is my WordPress site again. Let me go ahead and refresh this. Here we go. Here's the products that have been added and I need to prepare these. OK, so I'm going to repair these articles right here. So the action is going to be queued for AI. And they roughly take 30 seconds to a minute, less than a minute. OK, and after that, I'm able to generate the product reviews for each one of these. So let's give it a few minutes for these to finish up. OK, it's now done. And remember, I'm in the product review tab. So if I want to review these ones, for example, Dr. Brown's natural flow anti-colic. So I'll click on review. It's going to set up the process for the next steps. So good a few seconds. Here we go. And now it's getting started. So first of all, I can change the featured image. So if I don't like that image, I can go ahead and select a different one. So in this case, that one I think is more attractive and more appealing. Next is I can select my affiliate tag. So this is my particular affiliate tag that's tied to my Amazon affiliate account. And I can add a new one if I like. But in this case, that's the one I'm going to use. I can set up some keywords to help this, but I'm going to leave it as it is. That is optional. I wanted to create Revelant schemes. So I'm going to leave it as is and create monetization carousels. Automatically, it's going to gener generate a carousel with similar type of products that have my affiliate link. So I'm going to create a product review post, but that's how easy it is to generate a post for this particular product. So that's going to take a few seconds and that it's going to be available as a draft in my post. OK, so I just generated this one. I'm going to go into post. Here we go. And here it is. Dr. Brown's anti-colic bottles and has a tags added to it. Nice tags that will help me rank. Let's go ahead and preview this one. So again, it's not published right now. It's just as a draft and I can go ahead and publish it if I like it. So here's the review that it just created with all the images, with information. Here's the carousel. You can view this similar products and it has my affiliate tag to it. OK. So if they click on buy on Amazon, that has my affiliate tag also. 
So this was generated really easily. Now, the thing that you have to do is find great products, okay? Gizmo's gonna take care of the rest. So I'm gonna click away from this one. Let me go back. Okay, so let's go back right here and let's go into my Gizmo or back over here. And just like that, I was able to create a review and I can do so with the rest of the products. So right in the review is a breeze. Now, products roundup. This one is pretty cool, okay? So I can set up three to 10 products right here that are similar and it's gonna generate a roundup. So let me add this one, this one, this one, and this one. So four of these that I've added. And again, my affiliate tag, I can add some keywords here and I can drag and drop these. It's gonna grab the main featured image for the first product. So if I want Philips event to be the first one, I'll just pull this up and now it's this one. And again, I can change the image for it. So I'll leave this image as fine. We can drag and drop these and I'll create a roundup post, okay? So let's give it a few seconds for that one to be generated. And again, it's gonna be added to my draft under post. There we go, it was generated. So let's go into our post. Here it is, roundup of top baby bottles for colic relief and sustainability. It automatically generated this interesting title. I can go ahead and preview this. And that that's what it is, roundup of top baby bottles for colic, okay? Here are the four baby bottles. I can buy them on Amazon, again, with my affiliate link. Here's the first one, Dr. Brown's bottles, the information, pros and cons based on the ones that I've selected. The Philips event, pros and cons, the Philips event, another one, Nano Baby, BB, Flexi bottles, and again, pros and cons for each one of these. That was generated automatically. Now, this is really attractive. Now, something that you have to notice is that my particular side is full width. If you have a sidebar, that's gonna be fitted inside of there, okay? Now, let's go back. That's for the roundup. Gizmo, I really love that, that, that feature that they have on Gizmo, which is the roundup. Next is general content. So basically, it's well, what it says, general content. It can generate different type of contents based off what you kind of give it the idea of. So again, I'm gonna add some bottles here. And here, here we go, these four bottles. Again, I can change the image. The image is gonna be taken from the first one that they have on the top. So in this case, I'll keep the Nano BB and I'll keep it on the top with that featured image. So what is the post category? I can leave it blank to get ideas, but in this case, I do want to get some ideas. So I'm going to say um, best baby bottle, bottle, okay? Get post topics, here we go. And here are the topics that it generated for me. Now, based on the top these topics, I can select one of these and it'll generate the content for me. So I can select the importance of using BPA-free baby bottles. So it knows that these baby bottles have free of BPA. So that's why it's going to give me this idea. So I'm going to select my affiliate tag. This is the only one I have right now. If you have several ones, select the one that you want to use. The SEO keywords, again, I'll leave it blank for now. Generate content. And let's wait for that one to finish up. There we go. The content has been created. Let's go into our post and see what it created for us. So the importance of using BPA free baby bottles. Let's go ahead and preview this and see what it generated. So the definition and explanation of the B BPA, overview, health risk of BPA exposure. And then we have this Amazon product inside of here. Again, we have some more content here. The carousel, choosing the right BPA free baby bottles and boom again, Amazon product. Let's go through this one, conclusions, another product here. And it pr puts the products inside of it. So it generates interesting content that's going to help you rank it and people are going to click on it and obviously click on the links for it so general content again let's go ahead and add oops i don't want to add that one yeah well let's add these tablets now so for the tablets i can say worst tablets keep it that one just to try another one and here we go coming issues with encounters with budget tablets it doesn't fit with this tablets with poor battery life performance how the whistles um but if I put one of these suggested topics, it's not gonna rank putting these really nice tablets with this type of content. But that's a pretty good idea. I mean, finding bad tablets and then using one of these topics, okay? But I'll just keep it as it is and generate this one, okay? So tablets with inadequate camera quality, right? So basically it's gonna write the content for this and put in those tablets with the Amazon links in between, which people are gonna likely click on it. There we go, we should have our post under post and it should be a draft. 
here it is tablets with inadequate camera quality let's go ahead and preview this and we have our content based on camera issues common face tablet with poor camera quality and again we have tablets right here which has the amazon link or carousel another link for amazon and again it stays on topic with these tablets i mean in this case what i would do is find cheap tablets and add those in between it people are still going to click on it because maybe the price is really good or from there they jump into another product and you still get that affiliate commission so basically that is gizmo like i said it's going to help you generate that content to bring in those affiliate commissions so if you want to check it out link will be provided in the description let me know what you think about gizmo and if you think it's the right fit for you or not and that's a wrap